Hey guys, welcome back to the company. Today, we're gonna go over some of the kayaks that we have. All right, we're gonna start with my brother's wife's kayak. It's a Pelican Ram X, and it is similar to the Sundog. It's your traditional type, just paddling, going down the river kayak, that is designed similarly to a Connect. Uh, it has small storage in the back, and it has an opening for your feet. It also has a cup holder on the front, bungee straps for putting like your tackle box if you want to use it to go fishing on it. This one is kind of a, it's a weird one. Uh, we actually picked it up from Matthew's Five and Dime last year. It is called a Unico 12.0 It is a two-way hard shell kayak with no back supports. This one has a back support. This one doesn't. It also has two storage compartments in it. This one was like three, 338. This one was 150 to 178. This one is mine. It is a lifetime Yukon Angler 116 fishing kayak. I paid $530 for this one at Walmart. I don't have the seat on it. It is currently in the building. But this one has adjustable foot pieces on both sides. The seat is adjustable. You have two spots that you can mount the seat into. It also has a storage cubby and everything. You can put your fishing rod, your tackle box, anything that you think you might need out on the water, you can put in this storage unit. It also has bungee straps in the back for tackle box, cooler, anything else that you would like to put in. This one is a Pelican Rally 88. We give 130 for this one. It is just as simple of a kayak as you can get. Me and my brother both have one of these. Last year, we lost both our seats. Lucky enough, they were under warranty. I contacted Lifetime and they sent me two new kayaks. This year, you will see these out on the water and everything. We will be going fishing even going down the river on these, that's gonna be about a six hour trip. But last year, we bought them, tested them, they hold up great. And this one is very durable, I like it. It's comfortable, it's easy to, man to manage, to maneuver through the water. It even has a place where you can mount your GoPro. We broke mine off last year when we tipped it over and it hit a rock. But other than that, that is the only issue that I've had with this. It even has a wheel on the back and it is 11 foot, six inches. This one is right around 10 foot five. That one's right around seven foot. And this one's like five foot tall or five foot long. We haven't really used this one. Um, gonna see what I can do about making seats and everything for it. But the other three work really, really well. Thanks for watching. Bad company.